So the king after that, uh, he started get up and if you look in the top of uh, the, the capital, you can see the cartouche, the oval form. Can you see the cartouche? Mm -hmm. Look at the right hand side, the top right hand side of each one. You can see the destruction very clear. What happened? It happened that the, the, this is the name of Amun Khotob the third, Akhenaton's father. What's his name? Amun Khotob the third. So the first word of his name, Amun. So the king Akhenaton, when he came, he did not like Amun, so he destroyed or he scratched all Amun from all of these uh, columns. Okay? So after that, uh, the king Akhenaton, when the hatred of the priests increased and increased, uh, he left the, uh, the area and he came back again to Tal Amarna. And then from Tal Amarna, he fled to Sinai and he stayed in Sinai and maybe he died over there. Anyway, after his death came his son to be a ruler over Egypt. His son taught Ank Aton because the religion over there Atonism or Aton and the religion over here Amun or Amunism. So he started and he cannot stay any longer over there, okay, because uh, of the priestess. So he came back with his wife, the name of his wife called Ank Simba Aton. So when the, he he came back to uh, Luxor, to the city, and he changed his name from Tutank Aton to Tutank Amun. His wife changed her name from Ank Simba Aton to Ank Simba Amun, and they keep settling down here. Tutank Amun, he died when he was 19 years old. About his death <laughs> is still a mystery until now. Okay? Nobody actually knows how the king uh, uh, died. Uh, what is the story? They keep saying that the king he was riding his chariot, uh, then he fell down, his leg was broken and caused his death. Some others keep saying uh, that he fell down from his chariot, uh, his head was uh, uh, broken and he caused his death. Some others saying uh, that uh, he was assassinated by a high priest, his name I. We can find out that the king died because uh, uh, he was assassinated. Okay, uh, his tomb, by the way, this king, I mean the king Scott, uh, as you call him, uh, is the only one or the only tomb which was discovered in the valley of the kings untouched in 1922 by Howard Carter. All the objects they found, uh, it's actually now in the Egyptian Museum of Cairo, and a few of them in the Luxor Museum, and in the mummy of the king Tutankhamun inside the uh, uh, tomb until uh, today. Uh, by the way, the people who used to come to see the tomb for a uh, long time, they used to see the tomb and the coffin and the mummy inside. They cannot see the mummy, but just uh, uh, last year, Dr. Zaha was getting the mummy out, and now for the first time, the people can see the face of this uh, uh, king. You will see he was actually a boy king. And this you can see or you can feel when you look at his face and when you look at his feet and his tomb on the west bank of Luxor. Okay, so this is about what happened during that era of this uh, during the time of the king Akhenaton and his father. And his son, King Tutankhamun.